It is FNL Player of the Week time. This week, for week one, it is Holland Hall defensive end Owen Ostrowski. I'm going to get out of the way because our man Randy Wilson of Wholesale Computer Supply, sponsor of our Player of the Week, has a presentation for Owen. Randy? Thank you. Owen, I understand you terrorized the quarterback in last week's game. Yes, sir. I just got a little gift certificate or two here for you to show you how much we appreciate your hard work and dedication. And uh, I'd like to give you a gift certificate, the Wholesale Computer oh, wow. Supply, for $100. Thank you. And a gift certificate to my favorite steakhouse, Jamil's, for $50. Ooh, thank you. Anyway, I uh, just wanted to tell you good luck in the future with your career. Hopefully you're going to have one in the NFL. Yes, sir. There's a possibility. Yes, sir. Thank you so much. Owen, like Randy said, you terrorized the quarterback last week. Yeah. The numbers for people out there, it was nine solo tackles, I believe six and a half for Moss, yes, sir. a couple of sacks. One of those was a forced fumble that went for a touchdown. It's the whole brawl, you know, the kids got the signs. It's a great rivalry between the two of you. Yes, sir. For the defense to pitch a shutout in your senior season, that, that must have been a ton of fun. Yes, sir, it was awesome. Uh, you know, and that all started on Sunday when we began preparing for the game. Everybody was locked in all week. We all played as one and played played for each other. Yeah. You know, that's and uh, we know we know that we don't have we don't have anything guaranteed. Every, yeah. Any day we can be told that our season's over and everything, so we gotta make the most out of every snap. You guys have had great years the last mm -hmm. couple of years, but this felt like a group that comes into this year thinking we're going to do great things. It just seemed like a team on a mission to me. Right? Yes, sir. We, uh, we've we all, most people here, uh, pretty much every starter is a junior or senior. We've all started for multiple years and we've been playing together for multiple years. And ever since last season ended we get, and we began preparing for this season, we uh, everybody knew that we can do something special this year. So uh, pretty much we, we just prepared differently all through the off season, through the summer, through, the summer, through fall camp and everything. It's, a di it's been a different mentality, and I've been, it's been awesome to be a part of. You got the, the jersey rolled up. Uh, you said you were benching 405 at the end of the summer. Uh, you are terrifying, I would think, <laughs> to quarterbacks. <laughs> uh, just watching you the other night, roaming, you know, picking your spot, where you're going to rush from. I, I can tell you're getting a kick out of, uh, I mean, you're coming on every play, and they got to think about you. I, yes, I get sir. the sense you just really get a kick out of rushing the quarterback. Yes, sir. That's uh, that's why I love that's why I love football so much. My football's so great. It's uh, it's fun beating people and it's fun hitting people, especially uh, especially as hard as you can. Okay, it take me back. It probably your favorite play was when you forced the fumble and ended uh -huh. up going for a touchdown. It take me through that play and, and just what it feels like for a defensive line. I mean, you're coming on every play <laughs> to finally get there to get the ball out and have that result in a defensive touchdown. Uh, I, that's as good as it gets, right? It, it was pretty awesome. It was a passing situation. I lined up outside off the edge, got, got lined up in a wide nine, uh, four point stance, came off as hard as I could. Saw I had the tackle right there and the guard was backpedaling to come get me too. Just beat the man, went inside. Quarterback was sitting right in there, and uh, I could just tell something happened the way I hit him. It was it was something different. And then it took me a couple mi a couple seconds to uh, realize what was going on yeah. uh, when he fumbled it and we were running and running it back in the end zone. But that was a uh, that was really awesome. The size and speed are something to contend with, you know. Uh, but gosh, the technique seems really really good too. And I saw your dad. I think one of the tweets kind of went through you know everything you did on the play. We see some of the rip moves and all. It, you must be a guy who, who really pays attention to the fine detail and takes pride in, in the technique. Yes, sir. Uh, you know, that's, that's all from my dad. He, uh, every, every, uh, every week we watch film together. We talk about what, what I should be doing, what I shouldn't be doing, uh, what, I should be, what, what I should be doing better at. And uh, he, uh, he was on the receiving end of all that yeah. stuff. So he, uh, he knows what works against an offensive lineman. So he, uh, that, that's all up to him. That's all because of him. I was going to get into that. Most people around here know your dad is Jerry Ostrowski, who had a great career at TU, All-American career at TU, and then played 10 years in the NFL. I yes, mean, that's, sir. Yes, and, sir. and like you said, he was an offensive lineman protecting quarterbacks. You're trying mm -hmm. to get after him. <laughs> Obviously, he's been able to give you just a ton of great insight with regard yes, to what a lineman doesn't want to have to deal with. Yes, sir. Uh, that, that's, uh, 
that's all we've been talking about this year. And the, the main player we've been focusing on is Reggie White. Here is the quarterback, Bledsoe. Here they come again. There's oh. Reggie got it. Down he goes at the 22-yard line. Okay. Uh, he, uh, Way he, back. he grew up watching Reggie when Reggie uh -huh. was an eagle, but then he, uh, he had to play against Reggie when Reggie was with the Packers. And, uh, you know, from the first practice my dad watched, he, uh, he started getting me to do the inside thump with his uh, – uh, when he was rushing off the edge, and so that's uh, that's been fun to get to do. Awesome. Tell me a little bit more about you know your older brother uh, is is playing ball at Drake. Yes, sir. Uh, it, it's it's a football family, but yes, you know, sir. and I know how much how much he loves you guys. Just what it was like growing up, uh, you know, with Jerry O. And I, surely uh, there were a couple of knockdown dragouts that resulted in something being broken in the house and mom having to scold <laughs> you guys, right? Uh, yeah. There's uh, there were some moments, uh, you know, growing up we were always watching football my dad my dad obviously played and everything but my mom's also a huge football fan uh, so both my parents loving football that was just kind of what I was brought up into and was told what I grew up loving uh, my brother and I we would play football in the house all the time uh, which would end in some ruthless fights and everything which is really cool but yeah and then having a brother that's playing at the at the next level he's been able to give me a lot of insight too especially with how recent college football is and everything so I have my I have my dad, but then I also have my brother who, uh, you know, he's he's freaking awesome. I love seeing what he's been doing up in Iowa. And then this summer, I also got a third resource in uh, Willie Wright, uh, yeah. the former Tulsa All-American, who's now just got signed with the practice squad at the, at the Falcons. He worked out worked out in my house for about five months. Uh -huh. I got to watch him lift. Me and him would uh, run and stuff during the summer before we started our summer workouts. So he uh, he got to kick my butt a little bit and running and everything. So, uh, you know, I just had so many resources that know, but that a lot of people don't get. So it's I've been really fortunate. Yeah, we did a story on that back in April mm -hmm. when Willie first started showing up. Your dad saw what was coming with COVID, feared uh -huh. that the gyms would shut down, and went mm -hmm. and bought enough weights that you guys could could make a gym there. Mm -hmm. uh, you were held back in no way. You think? I mean, that gym was enough that you were able to push yourself. It, it yes, sir. It was uh, it was the gym. We had enough. We had we didn't have all the equipment we have here, but we had. We had the essentials, uh, and then we also got pretty uh, creative with how we did stuff, but it was also the people that we had there. I had teammates from here that came and worked out. Yeah. I had Willie, I had my brother, uh, some other Tulsa players. So it was uh, just the people who were in that, who were in the garage and everything, yeah. they, uh, they were what really made it special. That helped maybe forge some bonds. Some of yes, what sir. I saw on, on Friday night where it just seemed like a team that was so together. You think yes, you know, some of that might have happened in the garage? Yes, sir, exactly. The garage was a grind. It was, it was, uh, a lot of times it wasn't very fun, but when you're doing tough stuff with your teammates, it really brings you closer together. Absolutely. I, how did you become a defensive end? Were you, is, from the time you were a little guy, were you uh, playing that position? Did it you was, play uh, position? When I was little, I played offense, defensive line, but I never really played true defensive end until I got up to high school here and started playing it. And then... Uh, and then my sophomore year, I was a nose guard the whole season. Last year, dabbled in pretty much everything. But now, and even now, it's uh, I'll play three technique. We'll go out in the end in passing situation. So I'm all over the place. Yeah. It's awesome. Uh, you've had some great scholarship offers already. Mm -hmm. I, I know that some other great ones are on the way. Mm -hmm. uh, you are very focused. On, on playing college football yes, and maybe sir. even beyond it at some point? Yes, sir. Uh, you know, the, my number one goal, like my like my dad always tells me, graduate from high school, go to a great college, get a degree, and that's all that matters. Uh, if, a, if an NFL career happens, great. If it doesn't, I'll have my, uh, I'll have my degree to help me take to help take me places. All right, he is going places, one way or another. And if, if you're a quarterback on, on the schedule, by the way, Cassidy Hall, that's what this uh, trophy or whatever, they're getting after them this weekend, right? Yes, sir, there's a trophy on the line, too. Exactly, yeah, a traveling trophy. It goes to the headmaster. So mm -hmm. get after the Cassidy quarterback and yes, have sir. a great 2020, man. Thank we you want to so see much. you guys get to play the whole season. Thank you. Owen Ostrowski, your FNL Player of the Week, brought to you by Wholesale Computer Supply.